The focus at the Kennedy Space Center this morning, getting to the bottom of a problem with an engine that acted up yesterday and whether it can be fixed in time for the next launch window coming up on Friday. NBC's Tom Costello is back at Cape Canaveral Force this morning. Tom, how soon do we expect some answers? Probably after dinner time, we expect an update from mission managers. In the meantime, launch crews are going to be back out on the pad today, trying to dissect the problem with the number three engine. Why is that super cooled liquid hydrogen not flowing properly into the number three engine? If they can figure that out and fix it, then they may try for a Friday launch. But the launch window opens at 1245 in the afternoon, and that's about the same time we're expecting violent summer storms to roll through Florida. Florida, so we could be looking at yet another delay. On the iconic launch pad 39B today, an urgent effort to identify technical problems that canceled Monday's test. This is Artemis uh, launch control. 7.50 a.m. with just 40 minutes till the Artemis launch window was set to open. Trouble on the pad. They have an issue with one of the four engines in the core stage. The Artemis rocket uses four RS-25 engines borrowed from the previous space shuttle missions. But as the launch team flowed supercooled fuel into the engines for liftoff, the number three engine didn't cool enough. Launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub for today. This is how the engines are supposed to fire, exploding in speed from zero to 17,000 miles per hour, pushing Artemis through the Earth's gravitational pull and onto the moon. Now engineers will diagnose the cooling problem in hopes of trying to launch again on Friday. In engineers speak. There's a non-zero chance we'll, yeah. we'll have a launch opportunity on Friday. <laughs> if we can resolve this operationally out at the pad in the next 48 hours, 72 hours, Friday is definitely in play. After Friday, Labor Day is the next option. Among the thousands who gather to watch NASA launch its most powerful rocket ever, few seemed deterred. There are going to be people on the moon. If engineers can't fix the engine problem on the pad, they may have to roll Artemis back to the massive vehicle assembly building to swap out an engine. And that delay could take weeks to resolve. While Artemis has support from both Republicans and Democrats, the program has cost billions more and taken far longer than expected to launch. NASA chief and former astronaut Bill Nelson. It's over budget. It's behind schedule. Is this program jinxed? Uh, to the contrary. Uh, you know, folks said the same thing about the James Webb Space Telescope. Twice as long, twice as much money. Look what that telescope is telling us and will tell us for the next 20 years. Each Artemis launch costs about $4 billion. But Nelson makes the point the development costs associated with Artemis are going to be spread out over 10 to 15 years. And ultimately, they want the private sector, the SpaceX's of the world, to come in and assume some of those roles. He also makes the point if you want to go big, if you want to go deep and go back to space, it ain't cheap. Mm, Chanel? That's for sure. So, Tom, looking forward then, what's the plan if NASA can't fix the engine issue by the next launch windows this weekend? Right, so Friday is the first option, Monday's the second option. If it doesn't work then, then they have a window opening on September 19th until early October, so they may push it to that period and bring the whole thing back here to the vehicle assembly building to work on the rocket stack in the meantime. No, that's not what they want. All right, we'll see what happens. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.